guys, it's Phil here from TechSmart, and today we're going to be taking a look at 11 hidden features in Android 4.4 KitKat. Now, to demonstrate these features, we have the brand new Nexus 5 here. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First thing we're going to mention is resolution switching through adaptive playback. Now, breaking that down, pretty much it means that while watching a video, the resolution can constantly be fluctuating. Instead of having to close out of a video to reload it for the HD mode, while watching the video, the quality can be increasing, similar to how YouTube works. Next is the ability to easily switch between launchers. Now, personally, I enjoy having a custom launcher on my phone, and you can now hop into the settings on Android KitKat and quickly choose which launcher you want to run instead of having to go through the applications and then uh, clear defaults and the whole complicated mess that it used to be on previous versions of Android. Next is screen recording. Now, this is the feature more so for developers or people that actually have the Android API set up on their computer. And what that lets you do is you can record .mp4 formats of an Android 4.4 screen, and then you can share them online on YouTube, or if you wanted to share them on a private website, you can do that. It's a really cool feature. Like I said, it's not necessarily something that's going to be as available for everybody to do, but it is cooked into Android 4.4. Number four is going to be process stats. So you can now see what applications are using what amount of RAM. Similar to how you could on a PC or Mac, you really have full control over all your programs. Besides from viewing the storage that each app takes up, you can see the amount of performance and RAM and everything that it's doing to your phone at that immediate moment. Number five is updated notification information, meaning application developers can now choose what sort of excerpt data they want to pop up in the notification bar to give you a little bit more important information in that notification window that you can see at a glance of time. Number six is the photo editor built into the gallery. Now, this is very simple and it's awesome. You can go ahead and fully dive into editing just about any photo without having to get a third party application. Easy to use and you can really tweak your photos to get some really nice looking shots. Number seven is gonna be the ability to scrub through music from the lock screen. Now this is a feature that I'm finally happy to enjoy. If you listen to a lot of music, then you'll know that when you have to actually unlock your phone, if you wanna skip past that boring intro or just skip forward to the next song, you can now scrub through certain parts of a song or video in the Android 4.4 lock screen, which is, personally, this is gonna be an awesome one. As little as it is, it's a really nice feature, I think, that they finally added. Number eight is the loudness enhancer. So there's pretty much a more so modified EQ built into Android 4.4. It allows you to set a custom profile that enhances the audio specifically tuned for voices. So when you're in a phone call, similar to how the Galaxy devices had this set up, you can have the volume quality improved as well as just make it a lot louder so you can understand what the person's saying to you. Number nine is full screen wallpapers. This is another simple one, but another thing that's really good and it's kind of a minor annoyance on other versions of Android. When you're setting a wallpaper, you now have that full screen capability. You're not having to crop that wallpaper down at all. You can get the full top to bottom, edge to edge, exactly how you want that wallpaper to look on your phone. 10 is the support for IR blasters. Now, so long as your device does have a physical IR blaster built into the phone, you can now use third-party applications to control it. Now, this is huge because applications like Netflix, Hulu, all these devices that are connecting up to your TV can now have the ability to also control the set-top box or just the TV, for example, to change volume, the channel, and everything like that. It's really going to be interesting to see how developers are going to take this feature and incorporate it into their applications. Now, number 11, this is just a fun one. It's the hidden Easter egg within Android 4.4. If you go into About Phone and keep tapping on Android 4.4, it'll go ahead and give you this nice little pop-up. You can continue to press and hold, and it's going to then give you another screen. And as you can see, it's just fun to kind of play around with it. And it does prove to everybody else that you're on 4.4 and they're not. But anyways, guys, those are going to be our 11 hidden features of Android 4.4 KitKat. I just wanted to say thanks in return to that previous video we had on the iPad 4 versus iPad Air. The wallpaper link will be in the description below if you want to check those out. They're the Android 4.4 wallpapers. Anyways, guys, be sure to follow us on Twitter. The link will be in the description below. Subscribe for more videos as well as like this video if you liked it. We really do enjoy that. Now let us know in the comments below what your favorite features of Android 4.4 KitKat are. See you guys next time. Later.